So we got after today, we have two songs left. The and title track and D.O.B. Yes. Okay. And then we can finally listen to this album from front to back. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. That's going to be epic. Um, first things first, calm the fuck down. Are you going to pull a hammy? Um, two, I'm not the lead singer. I'm the only singer. We're not the fucking Supremes, and I'm not Diana Ross. Third, I'm not of or from Tool. I'm in Tool and Pussifer and Perfect Circle and your mom. Figure it out. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. What up? Diggity. What up? Uh, don't. But I, I was trying to think of something witty to say, but I yeah, couldn't come up with nothing. Sometimes it just don't come out. Sometimes it don't. All right, you want some random trivia? Yes, I do. Okay. What is the tallest breed of dog in the world? Great Dane. Correct. Interesting. What is the softest mineral in the world? I don't think you'll get that. Mineral. Hmm. Is it not? Well, I guess it's not gold, obviously. Um... Talk. Talk. T A O K. T A O C. Okay, like talcum powder. Oh, that's what I would yeah. think. All right, two more I want to give you. How many ribs are in a human body? 21, 22, 23, or 24? Oh, I have no idea. 22. 24. 24. Last okay. one. What is the world's biggest island? Hmm, is that not Australia? No. Huh. I guess that because that's a whole continent. New Zealand. Greenland. Green oh, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Really? Why does that make sense? Because Greenland is humongous. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. Huh. If you look at it next to Iceland, like, it is giant, giant compared to Iceland. Yeah. All right. So, um, be, uh, I don't know if this is factual or not, but back when the Declaration of Independence was signed, they used, what did they write with? A feather? Pluralize that. Feathers. You got it, my friend. <laughs> right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And to die. Being MJK Tuesday, we shall take a journey into the mind of Maynard. Absolutely, everyone. Let's open our eyes. Let's open our ears. And let's take a journey into the mind of Maynard. Let's do that. Let's do it, Smoke. You know, I think they probably had pins by that point. You think so? Like actual mechanical. Well, not really mechanical, but you Ball know, point. the ones that they soak up in the inkwell, you know? Yeah. That's how most calligraphy is written, still using those so this, types of pens. Dude, have you ever wrote with one of those pens? Like those really. I tried. Oh, yeah. man. My mom got two me little prongs. I, I love them, dude. I, I never could figure out how to make it look cool. Well, I, you know, my handwriting's garbage. But there is a <laughs> certain way that you have to flow with it. Uh -huh. it it's an interesting. And, you know, uh, pe some people actually collect pens because they like the way it feels. You know, that's like yeah. a thing. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we got talking about feathers. I was going to yeah. say birds of a blank flock together. Oh, birds of a feather flock yeah. together. All right, we're back on A Perfect Circle. Mm hmm. And this happens to be our favorite album. I, 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 mine, I don't know if I can speak for you. It's one of them, for sure. Eat the elephants up yeah. there. I, I know we've said that before, but it's, yeah. it's hard to. Yeah, how can I mean. Every song we've heard off of E.D. Elephant was a banger. We have not heard, and you know what? According to the, I can't remember the last song we did off of E.D. Elephant. Uh, memory's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But I remember in the live chat and in the comments, people were saying, you know, yes, check out Feathers, but they say the actual title track, Eat the Elephant, off of Eat the Elephant, uh -huh. it, they say that's going to be one of our favorite songs. Really? So I'm More than the contrarian. I know, dude. I mean, that whole album. It is. Everything we've heard off of there is exactly. just Exactly. Was it Talk Talk was on there too, right? I think. Hold on, let me pull up track list real yeah, quick. Yeah, pull up that track list. 
Because definitely, when we heard the contrarian, though, we were like, this is a perfect song right yeah. here. I mean, and we, we rarely give that out. Like, we, mm-hmm. we rarely give out a Yeah, perfect... like maybe four or five the entire time. Like, all 1,100 videos we've done songs. So, even though this is MJK Tuesday, can you name three of them? Because I know at least three we've said were perfect. Uh, so, is Talk Talk on there? Uh, oh, 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 that we've said are perfect. Uh, um, period. Out of anybody. Cradle of Filth. Yes, that was one. Um... I am not a vampire, Ronnie Racky. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Um, yes, talk talk was on there, man. And the contrarian, of course. Yeah, I remember that one by Baby Metal. We did. Yeah, was it like Dust Mo- Till Dawn. That was. Yeah. That, there's nothing wrong with that song. Uh, absolutely not. Um, I'm starting to go along the lines of, I mean, and as we've listened to more songs, like like there's nothing wrong with the song, uh, uh, descending. To, in my opinion, mm, there's nothing. It's wrong. up there for sure. Uh, the cradle of filth and yes. a lot of like uh, so long thanks for all the fish there's nothing wrong with that oh, song dude, dude that is a great song there's a, a bullet train to Iowa there's nothing yeah. wrong with that song yeah but okay so obviously I, Maynard's got a few of them oh yes yeah. dude yes talk talk is on here mm-hmm. hourglass mm-hmm. oh dude get the lead out yes that yes. song is hard. that wasn't even the last one we did though was it I th- yes get the, it was I th- okay no cause no it wasn't Put, uh, the last one we did was Elton John uh uh, Rocket Man. Oh, that was on Eat the Elephant. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm, you're talking about all yeah, Eat yeah, the Elephant. Yeah. Yes, Get the uh, Let Out was, I think, the last one. Okay. Damn, dude. Buying Down the River, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, we might be done. <laughs> dude, all- what? We getting close. To, we gotta be getting close. We got it. a song called D.O.B. We're doing Feathers. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've done the Dune. We've done... So we got... After today, we have two songs left. The and title track and D.O.B. Yes. Okay. And then we can finally listen to this album from front to back. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. That's going to be epic. Feathers, being off of Eat the Elephant with Talk Talk, and Buying Down the River, and, you know, all these great songs on here. By the way, you said Contrarian. I'm, I'm pretty sure Contrarian is on 13 stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, oh I'm sorry. You're right. The yeah. You're right. With co- the Contrarian, I mean, so many good songs that come off of here. I think the Contrarian was the first one we did off of Eat the Elephant. Yeah, I think so. Or at least that's the first one I remember seeing the album cover the of The Octopus. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. dude. That's one I wouldn't mind having for the studio vinyl. Beware. The <laughs> yeah. God, Man. That's so great. Yeah, we could we can sit here and... and uh, go on and on about how much we love this album and mm-hmm. you know the trash talkers some people say yes we do think it's up there but a lot of people are like bro no what about what about 13th step what about mm. emotive you know what about murder noms yeah you know a lot of people are like yeah. and I, i've even seen some trash talkers say it's because we have it at our disposal mm-hmm. you get it I mean, it's we like they had to wait for albums. We just, oh yeah, yeah. We can just go through them all. Yes. Oh, well, and a lot of times, uh, people will hold most dear and near and dear to them the first one they heard. Right. So I imagine for a lot of people that was Murder Noms being the first. Yeah. Uh, a perfect circle album. Right. right. Yeah. So, feathers. Mm-hmm. What you got? I just feel like it's going to be dope. Yeah, maybe it is something about sticking together, you know, like birds Birds of of a feather feather. or something. Like the tribe, we stick together. Yeah, exactly. It could be anything. Show it up. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it.
like you Just like you probably assume that it's uh political in nature Mm -hmm. like just you could almost make it to be whatever you want because it's just so soothing and relaxing and it takes you away from whatever you're in Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying like like it's almost like sometimes when you hear maynard it doesn't even matter what the meaning actually is you can just go wherever you want to yes. and just let his words help you drift away. Yes, you know? and this is one of those songs that brought me back to the tool days where I was able to close my eyes and go wherever. Yes. Where, where would you, my brain's like, Hollywood, where you want to go? You want to go this to the beach? Could, this could be like a, a fear inoculum track if it was probably five minutes longer. But. Yeah, and maybe, maybe a little bit more complex drumming. Yeah. A hundred percent vocal wise, yes. Mm-hmm. And what I was saying about his, he speaks in movies, it's like, like, he tells such a good story and like you like you said you can literally inter- maybe that's what he does maybe he's like I'm gonna give you some words this is what I mean but what do those words mean to you Yeah. maybe yeah. they may mean something to totally different than what I intend and you may take a different perception on what it actually means you know yeah yeah it's like he speaks like uh, what did I say before like it's it's poetry I said he speaks in, in a certain way, but I can't remember the exact way I said it before. 
parables? But, um, yeah, kind of parables. Yeah, he speaks in parables. Yeah, that, maybe that's what I said. Yeah, huh. but it is. Uh, yeah, it's it's deep and uh, you know it's poetic. Like, yeah. It's crazy. You know, uh, talking on the way he speaks. You know, you know, we put the clips at the very beginning of the MJ of, of something of Maynard. You know, mm-hmm. speaking. I just want to say, editing that part in can be so hard sometimes because Maynard speaks in paragraphs. Yes, he doesn't. Exactly. It's like you know, I went to, and this is just normal talk. You know, I went to the store and I had to get some milk, and I thought that maybe I would go here, but then I. Wondered if it was able for me to come. <laughs> yeah, and I, it's like I'm it's like, hard to find a few seconds to just, yeah, that encapsulates everything he's saying. Exactly. Yes. But this song here, man. Mm-hmm. Before we get into the lyrics, mm-hmm. there are a few. I have one one verse written on me by a guy named Elliot Smith King's Crossing. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what the heck he meant by this. And okay, but this could be another tattoo for me. He says, by the telling, may they become, may they all be feathers. Please make that mean something to me so I can get this inked on my body. <laughs> what does this mean? You know, if you look at it politically, which this is a political album, feathers, in my opinion, I could be wrong about this, but I think he's referring to the bald eagle, what stands for America. Freedom. Yeah, and may they all be, I, I, I don't... We'll see if we go back into the. He says, "All right, damages define our border. Mm-hmm. All that matter forged in flame, knowing little of your wounding. Share our mending, all the same." I mean, and, and then he goes, "I don't even really eyes of secrets, storm and story, show and tell. We'll make it through on his fate and under odium. I'm our anchor, lead and stone. By the mm-hmm. telling, may they become." May they all be feathers. Honest, meaning it's your duty, mm-hmm. meaning that's your job. Odious, meaning something unpleasant. Man, the the way this guy writes his poetry, like it almost takes a a, a dissertation uh, to go along with it, <laughs> you know, to to really dig into what he's saying and unpack everything. But I think this goes back to. This being uh, America forcing its dominance yeah. on the world. You know, man, I hope we get, I'm not even going to say hope, I'm speaking this into existence. When we get big and like big enough, we're going to get Maynard in, in studio one day and we're going to say, look, bro, we need you to break these lyrics. Yeah. Man, what yeah. did you mean by this? Yeah, exactly. Imagine that to the tribe, to the live chat right now. Imagine Maynard being third person and we're like, all right, what did you mean when you said, first of all, you should have said one, try to stay alive and descending, <laughs> but I, I, I'll leave that alone. But just being able to to ask the the uh, the author himself or not yeah. even what a person who or a, the poet like the, what do you mean by this? I'd love to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. You know? Yeah, definitely. Now that we've gone through his whole album, like when you see someone who's interviewed Maynard, mm-hmm. you can tell they have not been through the entire Man, catalog, no. catalog because you're like, why not? Why are you not asking about this song? Yes, bro. Why are you not asking about that song? Imagine how imagine how annoying that must be for him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I started making music because of this. You ask oh, the typical I know, questions. Yeah. Like I've answered that question a million times. Like, G- give us thirty minutes with Maynard. I <laughs> yeah. guess. Yes. He's gonna be like, God dang, bro, these dudes—they <laughs> own yeah. it. Yeah, man, yeah. To the live chat, you know, you know, we're in the live chat and we're communicating with you right now. But to everyone who comments on this video, give us your interpretation of mm-hmm. what that means. And also, like I said, you know, Smokey, you could be spot on with the bald eagle. But what are you guys' thoughts on the part where he says, uh, "By the telling, may they become, may they all be feathers"? I don't know why that hits mm-hmm. me, but it hits me for some reason. And maybe, you know, it's not necessarily about the bald eagle. That's just and, my first thought. Right, or an it. interpretation of the Yeah, bald maybe eagle. it just means that may it all be soft and, and light, you know? Damn. May we all be peaceful in the end. Trash talkers, tribe members, help us out with this mm-hmm. one. Absolutely. Guys, and um, another, another amazing MJK Tuesday, especially spinning it with the tribe. Let us know what's next for next MJK Tuesday. And with that being said, my name's Behringer Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. Deuces.
That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on this MJK Tuesday. We are so excited to see what this journey has in store. If you want to see more of Maynard's work, just click um, right over here. If you want to see the last video we did you can click uh where should i point uh right over here thank you guys so much for tuning in please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and we'll see you on the next one deuces